Today we'll have a quick primer about logical equivalences. And logical equivalences are two propositions that are always evaluating as true, no matter how you set their necessary variables. Remember, we have a few tables of logical equivalences that are helpful to use, some that are just between variables, some that are between quant uh, conditional statements and non-conditional statements, and also some between biconditionals and conditionals. That leads me to our first step when doing logical equivalences is to remove conditionals. Second, we can use De Morgan's laws to move all of the negations towards the inner parts. And third, we'll use our associative, commutative, and distributive laws to help get all of our like terms together. Four, we'll want to identify, negate, dominate, and absorb. We use our identity, identity laws, domination laws, or domination laws, and absorption laws. We also might want to use our, our idempotent laws. The idea is that we're going to take our propositional statement and try to reduce it into its simplest form. And if we want to do two different sides and show that they're equivalent, we'll actually do this on both sides and then until we find something that's common. And the right-hand side, will just those, those steps will be reversed. Let's see an example. Let's now consider this example. Demonstrate the logical equivalence between quantity p implies q implies the quantity r implies p and r implies p. So you see that r implies p is, is, appears in both sides. So we want to keep that in mind. So let's follow our steps and then start with the left-hand side and show that that's equivalent to other things. So we start by writing our left-hand side, and we're going to follow some laws. And the first thing we're going to do is take our logical equivalences using implications, and we're going to remove our implication statements using this law here. Let's do that a few times. I'll underline where it's important. First, I remove this conditional, place it with this statement. Next, I remove this implication with this statement. Then I took this full implication, this quantity implies this quantity, and used the same law to see that this quantity negated or this quantity. Now we see that there's a not in front of a, a, content, a content including an or symbol. Let's use De Morgan's laws. Now I see two negations in front of the same variable. Let's use double negation. Now I see that there's an or symbol and an or symbol here. So these parentheses are not important. In fact, we can rearrange things, and I want this p to be closer to this p, so I'm going to rearrange. And the reason I could do that is due to the associativity and community, commutativity laws. Now I see that I have a p or a p and a q. If I look at my laws, I see a p or p and q is equivalent to p by absorption. At this step, I see that I'm as simple as I could possibly be. Every literal is either a variable or not the variable. I'm using ors and ands, and all my terms are together. So you can't get much simpler, simpler than that. And you see that I want to get to r implies p. And see what I can do is I see that this is very close to the symbol not p or q. So I think about this as being the nots, and this is the other one. This is equivalent to r implies p by the implication. Hooray! We see, we've see we now demonstrated our equivalence from the left-hand side to the right-hand side using steps of implications. And I get to use my little proof box here to celebrate at the end.